57 kilos and proudly sponsored by Eric's Fight Gear. Your first fighter, Sinister Cage and Fighting Out of the Corner, Katrina King!
Well, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Door set to shut on this second amateur flyweight contest here at Almighty Fighting Championships 24. Katrina King representing the fish tank, fighting out of the red corner in the animal print two-piece, taking on Lauren Rear. Also making her debut, representing four corners in the black Nike two-piece and fighting off the takedown attempt from Katrina King. Answers with a nice sharp knee to the abdomen. Job of pressing her, uh, her opponent up against the fence here, applying a lot of pressure early. Got to be careful not to get turned. It looked like Ray had some really sharp boxing early, so I think it's smart for her to, uh, to slow the fight down, get it up against the fence, and try and wear her opponent out a little bit before getting into another one of those exchanges. While well, Rio was throwing knees to the body with some harsh intention and she's doing well to try and defend here. There she goes, listening to her corner, gets that underhook. Really good uh, takedown defense presented here by Rare as well. She's trying to keep a nice wide base. But King trying to break that down a little bit, but turned and again, the, the responds to that knee to the, to the midsection. Well, King's trying to get at the legs of Rare against the fence, but Rare's doing a really good job of keeping her legs right up against the fence. Her feet are planted right up against it, making it really difficult to get a grip. See how she tried to get the hook there? Yeah, just tried to step behind to try and get the, chi the trip, but... When the fence is right there behind it, there's not a lot of space, and it makes it a lot easier to defend. Quick break in the action there. Yeah, didn't, didn't see what that was, but Nico Joko obviously saw something. I am really liking this takedown defense demonstrated here. Maybe just one small adjustment that I think would help be if she was framing on, on the head with her with her left arm at this point. Just because that would help the turn uh, kick a little bit easier. But Man, you are harsh on these debuting amateurs, aren't you? <laughs> well, it's just, you know, she, she's stuck in this position here and she's doing everything correctly. It would just be a little bit more dynamic of her if she could just, you know, get, get, get it turned a little bit. But she's showing really good grappling up against the fence, but as you say, I am very nitpicky. <laughs> I mean, it's been consistent pressure from Katrina King, but she's not been able to get a better position. Again, she tries to just step around, try to trip, try to pull her opponent down in the canvas, but again, every opportunity she gets, Lauren Rear looks to throw that knee to the midsection. Now they're just exchanging knees to the thigh. Well, th th that's the kind of dynamic that we've we run into here. We've run into a dynamic where Rhea's got really good takedown. Defense. Got those hands flexed. She's got those hands oh, under the wow. hips. Now we've got to see how she's getting back to her feet. Rear does it, works really well to get into that, secure that full guard. King stayed consistent with the takedown though, didn't give up on nope. it. Nope. King, and again, King trying to chip away at the at the body there to end the round. Brave, and brave, brave, brave. She looks like she enjoyed that. Hands in the air, that's one down. Well, she got what she wanted at the end. Absolutely. She didn't abandon her game plan at all. She was just like, no, I don't care how many of these takedowns you defend. I'm going to keep pressuring you and I'm going to keep doing it until I get it. I don't care if it comes in the last 10 seconds. And again, we got to give Lauren rear props. Uh, only capitulated at the end and if you're gonna if you're gonna hit the hit the mat 10 seconds to go you could be doing a lot worse but she spent a lot of that round with her back up against the cage although she was landing the knees she kept the fight where she wanted it despite being pressured that's a tough round for your judges to score i think well i think that's the stalemate that we might consistently be running into in this fight is it's going to be Rhea is really difficult to take down, but at the same time, King's just an absolute animal with going for that takedown, so she's not going to give Rhea a chance to breathe at all. And Katrina King again, smiling in the center of the cage, looking like she's enjoying this first opportunity. As is Lauren Rhea. Really nice, tidy punches. Oh, heavy. And you just get the sense that if it stays out in the open, that Lauren Rear just a, just a bit superior in the stand-up, and Katrina King does what she should do, close that distance, clinch in, take some of that away. And it looks like what? See, now she's gotten to take down a lot earlier in this round. That's good. But look, going up high guard. 
Can't see if she's got an arm or anything. But she's going to try and look to get that triangle. King's got to pull her elbow out here. Looks like she nearly has. Yeah, but you can see how she's trying to trying to slip there and she slips it out that's a smart bit she's gonna let her stand up so she can take her back down and again she, uh, gets punished for, for returning to the feet here by rear well maybe she's Ill quite willing to eat one in order to get in close and as you alluded to she got that takedown a whole lot quicker this time this time she barrels in she's under the hips again Ah, she's got Andrew Fisher shouting Jordy in her ear. So the takedown defense from Rio just wasn't quite where it was in the first round, which is expected, obviously, because it's the second round. You're going to be a little bit more tired, not going to be quite as sharp with everything you do. But again, you know, one of the things that she's been able to do, either pressured up against the cage or down on the mat, is she's not taking a whole lot of damage. She's keeping Katrina King honest. But... King trying to, try, yes, trying to kneel on that arm, take that left arm out of the equation. Got to be careful, though. Good use of the butterfly hook to a regain guard, although it looks like King simply passed on to the other side. Again, trying to get that knee over. Oh, but just that's just a just strong, sudden movement there. Puts King on her back. She's got one of the, got a knee bar, and knee shield in, and. For a moment, had a butterfly as well. I think what happened there was King was spreading herself a little bit too thin over what she was trying to do. She was still in half guard whilst trying to get almost like a crucifix yeah. position. Just giving all of her weight to Rhea to, to be able to roll her off. And a fairly active guard. She keeps trying to move. She's going to try and elevate her over, but didn't work. Gotta be, yeah, lets her back up. Finish the round where she wants it. Wow. Really interesting. Uh, uh, I gotta tell you, it's given our judges something to do very early into our card here at Almighty Fighting Championships number 24. The takedown coming a lot easier for King in that round. Yep. But not able to do a great deal with it. No. Control, yes. Top position, yes. Not a ton of damage. Looked like she was trying to isolate that left arm, kneel on that right arm, and, and land, lean on that left arm and land shots, but hard to do in half guard. Yeah, I, 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 I'd like the idea, but I'd, I think I'd prefer to see her go for that maybe from a side control position. Well, but there's, there's no doubt that Katrina King's ready as she marches to the center of the cage. She wants to... Immediately wants to take that range from Lauren Ray, you think. Both ladies looking pretty fresh, though. Absolutely. Third and final round here. This women's flyweight contest. Katrina King fighting out of the red corner in the leopard print. Representing the fish tank. Lauren Ray, the four corners prospect in the black Nike two-piece. And King straight in on that takedown. But the momentum... Looking to try and pass now is Lauren Rear and you can hear Andrew Fisher over in the fish tank corner asking for her to get up and no urgency to get in on the clinch or keep the other person down for either fighter there. They happy to stand up again in the middle in exchange. Just, just touching those legs, hoping to bring the hands down so she can then go high. And again, in on that double underneath the hips, drags. Rear down and in, in the side control now. As this fight is drawn, I think Rhea has fatigued slightly. And that's why we're seeing his takedowns coming a lot easier. Trying to step over in the mount there. She does so. Doesn't want to rush anything now. We've seen that Lauren Rear's capable of some explosive movement. So it's all now for Katrina King to consolidate that position before 
unleashing hell. But again, just strength. Great strength on display there by Lauren Weir. It refuses to accept the bottom position. Now Katrina King needs to be a little more anxious off the bottom. Trying to get the arm there. Yeah. Again, rear attacking that lead leg. And her hands still look a little bit sharper than King's. King got a labored takedown attempt there, kind of more reaching in. There she is, though, going to force her up against the cage. She's underneath the hips and down inside control again. Yeah, I think a, another big change, that, an adjustment that King has made is rather than pushing her, uh, her opponent up against the fence and then trying to suck the legs away, she's almost bumping Rhea on yep. the fence in order to get her legs away. So get her to pull her out. out. It's a very nice adjustment that she's made there. Well, she's now again inside control. and, and Now she's trying to I almost see. step over and control yep. that arm, but now she's doing it from the side control position. Hey, uh, you want to see some knees to the body now. And it got one from the bottom, so Lauren Greer's my new favorite. A few seconds left to go, and she lets her up. Uh, oh, and our judges have got some work to do for this one. This will be very telling as to what the judges value. Absolutely. Uh, you know, two young ladies making their debut here at Almighty Fighting Shift 24, and... Katrina King looks as happy as a cat that got the cream. She looks like she thoroughly enjoyed that experience. Oh, both ladies had a great fight there. If, if Rhea could have just kept it on its feet, kept it distance a little bit, she looked like she was just a little more dangerous with her hands. But Katrina King just forward, 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 forward. Didn't know anything else. Reverse, she still go forward. It was amazing. Yeah, she definitely used her conditioning there to her advantage as well. She, and she still hasn't stopped smiling. I can't tell if she's smiling or sucking wind at the moment. I'm going to say smiling because she looked like she enjoyed that whole experience. She's enjoyed it the whole time. She enjoyed the walkout. She enjoyed just staring her opponent down when she was coming into the cage. And then she enjoyed the fight itself. And I'm sure she's going to enjoy celebrating this evening regardless of the results. Very good debut for both these young fighters. Thoroughly enjoyable. You'd think, you know, she was landing to the lead leg, and she she always seemed like she just wanted to touch it. If she'd started <laughs> hammering some of those in. Oh, interesting for our judges. We want, want to give a quick sh shout out to Vulcanite, to Eric's Fight Gear, to DN4 Photography, and to our media partner, Combat Sports UK. Thank you for your work here at UK, UK's best amateur promotion almighty fighting championships and this decision is taking a little bit of time to tabulate mr sefcon over there with our head judge about to make his way into the cage to make this one official after nine minutes of action in this amateur flyweight contest will it be katrina king in the red corner or lauren rear in the blue We'll turn it over to Mr. Sefcon and he will make this result official. Final decision to please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard for our move to the duties at Scorecard, which are as follows 30, 27, King. 30, 27, Rear. 29, 28. And you're with it by way of a split decision in the red corner. Katrina King. Please show your appreciation 